Katie appeared. And today for you, I am making a tier list. Yeah. Okay. I'm pretty sure this like trend is kind of over now, but you know what? I really wanted to make a video like this for a while now, so you know what? Feck it, I don't always stay up to date with trends anyways. So I'm gonna do it anyways because I thought it'd be a fun video to do and a good discussion video, I guess. So for this video, basically I am going to be ranking all the students from class 1A of My Hero Academia. Originally, I was going to try and do like all the characters from My Hero Academia and put them in the tier list, but you know what? I feel like this video would be really, really long. So, and also in the list of other, like the ones that did have all the characters were characters from the manga that I haven't met yet. Like I am reading the manga, but I just haven't met those characters yet. So I feel like, you know, I couldn't really rank them properly if I've not really met them yet. So I thought at least just do the students from 1A. So yeah, but again, this should be fun. Anyways, let's get on with it. All right, so yes, again, I am on the website, obviously, Tier Maker and all that. I'll put a link in the description so that you can obviously find it and maybe do the tier list yourself. But yeah, so obviously here is all the students from 1A and I am going to try and rank them the best. So obviously we have the S tier, A tier, B tier, C tier, and D tier. So yeah, all right. So the first person we have here is Denki Kamanari. Um, let's see, I'm trying to think, where would I put Denki? Honestly, I do like Denki as a character. So you know what? I'm gonna put him in the B rank. Like I've always found him a very fun and interesting character, but I don't think he's quite the level of A or S, but he still deserves some praise because he is, he is good. Like, yeah. All right. Um, right, next up is Kirishima, who I like, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to put Kirishima at A rank because freaking love this boy. He is so good. Like he deserves all the world and everything. And I know there's that theory that he could possibly be the traitor, but I really hope, like, like I doubt it. Like, I don't think he would be the traitor. It'd be heartbreaking if he was. Again, I think I heard something about the traitor was revealed, but I don't know, but uh, yeah. But yeah, Kirishima is one of the best boys, so I put him at least at rank A. Right, next up is Tokiyami. Um, again, Tokiyami is a very interesting character. Also learned the fact that he actually is a bird who just happened to turn into a human boy, which is interesting. Um, but yeah, so I'm probably going to put Tokiyami at least in the B rank because he is still a good character but but not quite in the A or S rank yet but he's still a good boy he's still a good boy all right next up is Saro the guy who obviously it can dispense like tapes from his arms um hmm let's see where would I Saro is an interesting character but Honestly, I don't feel like they've done much for his character, so I'm gonna kind of put him in the C. Just cause, I don't know. We don't really know that much about Sero, or at least anything like that. So he's, he's okay character, but uh, probably just give him a C. All right, next up is Deku. And if you have seen my videos, you will know that he, I love this boy. And of course he is going in the S rank because yes, he is my favorite, he is my boy, he is my son. Of course, I have to put him in the S rank. And you know, I cosplay him and all that. So yeah, there is best boy right there. All right, next up is Bakugo. Um, all right, I will admit when I first um, watched like My Hero Academia, at least for the first season, I really didn't know how to feel about Bakugo, mainly just because how 
awful he treated Deku and stuff like that and just like of how bad his ego is and stuff so there is like parts of me that like I still feel like I still don't know exactly how to feel about his character but he does have the potential but again he's still an interesting character so for now I'm just gonna put him in the B just okay like he's okay he's not a C he's not a D but he's a B but he's not to me A or S rank so yeah I'm probably like I don't know if there's gonna be a few Bakugo fans who will not be happy with me that I put him in B but hey at least I didn't put him in D like give me that much credit but yeah all right next up is Koba I think that's how you pronounce his name um, I'm gonna just straight up put him in the C for now mainly just because we don't really know much about him he's honestly not contribute that much to the plot so far also like yeah it's cute that you know he can talk to animals and stuff but mm, you know what nah i think um just put him in the sea basically because again it's same with Saro. not much interesting things have happened to him at least in the anime i don't know i haven't read m much to the manga at the moment in the manga i've only actually got to the part where they're taking the exams and they're f paired up and they have to face a teacher so yeah i've only gotten up to that in the manga so yeah so who knows maybe they'll do more all right next up is juro i will say i love juro i think she is a quite an interesting and fun kind of character so i but not to a or s rank just yet but again i'll put her in b because yes she is like i don't know just her whole aesthetic i really like as well and just the, the fact that like how she puts up with Denki as well like yeah all right next up um i can't remember his name but i know obviously he's the guy with the tail again i'm gonna put him for the c because again we haven't really seen much of this character but he still maybe has that potential to be interesting but at the moment yeah i don't feel right putting him in the d so i'll just put him in c all right, next up is Cho Ch Chucho, with the guy with the mask. Again, another one I have to probably put in C. Um, again, he is quite an interesting character. His friendship with uh, Toro Hokuri is really interesting. And yeah, and also the fact that his quirk is quite interesting too. But yeah, I'm still, again, I'm going to put him in the C. Right, next up is Mina. I freaking love Mina. She is cute. She's adorable. So I'm gonna put her in at least the the B rank because yeah, I know I'm putting quite a few characters in the B rank, but again, you know there are some extra incredible characters. But then you know it's like a class of twenty. You know it's not easy giving development to all of them. But again, I still believe she, she has the potential. So at the moment, yes, she is B. All right, next up is Mineta. I don't even need to think where he goes. Straight to D. I just do not like his character at all. Like, he just goes way too far. Like, I have watched a lot of animes with, you know, pervert type characters. But for him, for me, Mineta goes too far. Like, I, there are some pervert characters that I've watched in animes that I have liked in the past. But that's because they usually do have some good redeeming qualities. But Mineta, no. Mineta can, like, if there was a lower rank, I would give it to him. Because, no, he is awful. I just do not like the dude. I don't know, maybe he'll change and get some character development. We don't know. But for now, no. He goes straight to D. Like, I don't even need to think about it. Alright, next up is Momo. And I'm going to have to put Momo in S rank because Momo to me is best girl. Like, I love Momo. Like, I love just, like, how sh kind she is to everyone. Even though, like, she's, like, mega rich and stuff. She's still, like, she doesn't come off snobby, which you think that she would. Especially since she's quite intelligent as well. But again, like, I love her interactions with, like, all the girl characters like the really good relationships with them i like her reactions with like everybody else in the class and she's so kind like i love that bit where um she basically 
is helping people study and she's like saying oh what teas do you want and you know if we don't have that tea then we'll go out and get it for you and honestly she's so sweet so yes momo be like belongs in the s rank all right all right next up is uraraka or chako all right again i love this girl she's not s rank but i'd say she's at least She's at least in the A rank. Like, at least, she is at least up there in, there, up there. Like, cause she is cute, she's adorable, and yes, like, I absolutely love Chaco. And yeah, like, she hasn't got to the point where, like, she's above Momo in any way, but she's nearly there, but I just slightly love Momo a little bit more. All right, next up is, I don't remember this dude's name. Like, he's probably one of the most forgettable characters in Class 1A, to be perfectly honest. But I'm probably gonna put him C because I'm not, like, yeah. He probably does have the potential, it's just, again, it's a huge class. It's not easy to develop everybody. Maybe he gets more in the manga, I don't know. Still need to obviously get to that, but yeah, I'm gonna put him there. Right, next up is Todoroki. And honestly, I do, I do really like Todoroki as well, so I'm gonna put Todoroki in the A rank because Todoroki is just really, really cool. Like, I really, really like his character. I like his character development that he's been going through and stuff. And pretty much he's like pretty much Prince Zuko, which I find hilarious, who I absolutely loved again in Avatar. But yeah, so obviously I will put that in there. Like, just obviously all the stuff he's been through and stuff and yeah. Also, like, if Endeavor was on this list, he would go next to Mineta because Endeavor is awful. Ugh, do not like that man. But Todoroki, yes, we'll put him in A. Okay, next up is Ida, or aka Sonic. I'm gonna put him in the B rank because, again, He's still a very interesting character. Like, I really like his friendship with Deku and Uraraka. But, um, actually, you know what? With Ida, nah, I changed that. I'm gonna put him in the A rank because he's just, like, I love Ida. He deserves more love than he actually gets. And obviously, he had, he, obviously, he's not had made the best decisions, you know, after the sports, uh, the sports arc thing but all in all he's a good character and you know he's just trying to look after his classmates and i just love the friendship between him uraka and deku the deku squad is just amazing but yeah all right next up is toru hukari um i'm gonna put her in the c again there's not like much to her like just the fact that she's just invisible Obviously, there again, there's a theory that she could be the traitor, which would make sense since obviously she is invisible and nobody can see what she's doing. But again, I'm really hoping it's the traitor's nobody in class 1A because I feel like that would just be heartbreaking. Um, but yeah, all right. Next up is Sue. Um, I'm gonna put her in the A rank because she is just amazing. I love her just her whole character and stuff and yeah like and also like that bit where in the dorms where sh she was crying and stuff about you know obviously them risking their lives and stuff like it was really emotional and I do really feel for this character I'm really glad they gave her like her, her kind of own episode sort of when they were doing the internships. Like, I thought that was really cool. Like, I don't think they did that in the manga, which is a bit unfortunate, but I still like, I like this girl. She's not best girl, but she's nearly there. She's nearly there. On to the last character. I'm gonna put him, like, I can, Ayame, Oyame, I think that's how you pronounce his name. Again, he's not done much. He's still an interesting character, but I still feel like, yeah, it's not like, yeah, C rank is basically for characters who do interest me, but they haven't gotten enough time to shine yet. And maybe they can slightly, they have the potential. But D, yeah, Mineta's just alone in here because he, I just do not like. Because with me, like, when it comes to class 1A, like, I do like a lot of the characters in class 1A for different reasons. 
But yeah, but Mineta's the one where I'm just like, no, he belongs in the trash. Uh, but yeah, but that is my ranking of all the Class 1A students. Tell me in the comments down below, what are your rankings? And also remember, this is my opinion. So if I put one of your favorite characters low on the list, then I have nothing against you. There's nothing against the character. It's just how I feel about that certain character. Again, as I said, C is just for, I feel like they do have potential, but they're just not there yet. B is that, they're, again, they really interest me very much and stuff. A, I just love these characters and S is I would die for these characters. So yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe for more fandom content than you can shake a stick at. And C!